Today I'm lucky enough to be here with my, uh, with my new friend Christine Coletta, who's the owner of uh, Haywire Wines and Okanagan Crush Pad in the Okanagan. Uh, Christine, thank you so much for making the time to be with me today. Thank you. It's great to be here with you. Uh, Christine, uh, we've been trying to coordinate this for a while because I was lucky enough at the 2015 Vancouver International Wine Festival to taste your Method Ancestral sparkling wine. Uh, truly one of the great revolutions or uh, revelations of the festival for me. Um, it's power, it's finesse, uh, but beyond all of those things is its articulation. That it spoke with its own voice and it was it was just such a, a thing of uniqueness that did speak about BC but in a way that I hadn't experienced before. Tell me a little bit about the, the motivation behind making a wine like that, making Method Ancestral sparkling wine? Well, I think it really talks to our uh, philosophy about making all of our wines. We really want to make our wines as naturally as possible. We want to do as little to them as we can so that the Okanagan comes through in every single glass that you try. And for us, the sparkling wine and the table wines, uh, we really just have been trying different things to see what's going to work best. And uh, a lot of what we're doing is natural yeast, uh, wild fermentation, and for us, the ancient method, as I like to call it, because my accent isn't as uh, impressive as yours, uh, was just a really natural step for us to take in the sparkling wine category of our portfolio. And, and speaking of taking a step, you took a big step with it, and you took it all the way to London. Um, Tell me a little bit about that experience. Yes, uh, last week uh, our winemaker Matt Dumain and our wine guru partner David Schofield went to London. They went to the Natural Wine uh, Fair and also to the London Wine Tra Trade Fair. And really what we were doing there is we weren't displaying. We took wines to showcase to people and we wanted to make sure that our wines were going to be globally competitive and that what we were doing with our wines was going to be accepted uh, internationally. So we, we really got a wonderful report card from the international media that were there. Um, and I think we understand that we're on the right track. We left wines there with the event organizers and our intentions are to go there and showcase our wines next year. And there were no Canadian wineries at the Natural Wine Trade Fair this year and we're going to be there next year. So I, I have to ask now because uh, that's a really uh, interesting sentiment that you wanted to be accepted internationally. It's a, a well-known and bandied fact that 95% of all wines produced in BC are consumed in BC. So why the impetus to be uh, recognized and accepted uh, globally? I think that if we're going to be recognized uh, as the Okanagan wine region as being a special, unique, rare place, we need to really put our wines up against wines from around the world. We can't just look at ourselves in isolation and judge our wines with wines from our small pond. We really have to look outside and, and showcase next to the, the world's greatest and best wines. And that should be our benchmark. And we can do it. We can do it from the Okanagan. We have all of the natural raw ingredients. We've got the talent. And uh, I'm really excited about what the next five years is going to bring for our wine industry. Uh, for a second there, you reminded me of John Skinner. Oh. Uh, in the best of all possible ways. Uh, John learned everything from me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he did. Um, actually, I can well believe he did. Uh, but now, talk to me on a personal level just for a second. Uh, method Ancestral, or, or Ancient Method Sparkling Wine, it's not the easiest to do. Um, it's not something uh, that a winery uh, pursues uh, for profit. So, my gut instinct was that there was uh, a more personal reason for choosing this particular uh, style. Do you want to speak to a moment just about what what that style is in terms of production and why it's actually important to you? Well, it's important to me. I mean, first of all, no one owns a winery for commercial purposes and uh, I think we're all learning that as we go along. As When you're small, um, really, nothing really makes financial sense, so what the heck. Uh, 100 cases of ancient method wine. Uh, uh, it just it just seems to, to me it's really important to experiment and it's important to have that culture in your cellar with your people that they can try things, that they can step outside of the neat, comfortable box that we have.
have right now in the Okanagan for making lime. And in our in our establishment, that go, that includes using concrete tanks, not using oak, using wild fermentation, not adding any uh, wine making additives to our products, growing our grapes organically, and so all of that really. Uh, if you're asking people to sort of step up and, and put the effort and energy in, then you as an owner have to contribute to that process as well. And for me, the ancient method was, is really indicative of what we can do to that full end. And it, it, ca and it encapsulates all of those ideals in the sparkling wine category that we have. In the still wine, we have a wine called Freeform, which is 100% natural, no additives, nothing's been done to it. And so that is our, our sort of table wine, still wine equivalent of what the ancient method means to our cellar. But it's really rewarding to see your people stepping outside of what is comfortable for them. And it's exciting for all of us to do that. Um, and now listening to you speak, it's uh, no wonder that you've actually been named um, one of the top business leaders in BC. I think there are a number of uh, leaders in other businesses who could uh, who could take notes from what you've just said, um, giving your your staff the freedom to be expressive um, and taking them outside of the box. Uh, bravo, Christine! Thank you so much for making the time to speak with me today. Thank you very much, and I must say that my greatest asset at the winery are my people. They're it. Bravo.